name is Manuel Blechschmidt and in this video I want to give uh, an introduction into the architecture of the frontend of Meet United. This is how the frontend currently lo looks like. It runs on care.meetunited.health. Um, it's open source and if you go on the repository, which is in the Meet United uh, repository, and you go on actions, then you will see that all the time when somebody commits something, um, there is a new Docker container created and this Docker container is deployed to our Kubernetes cluster and it will be directly be running here. So um, now uh, what you can currently see is that I see some patients. If I reload, you can see that for a short time frame that there was some state in the um, uh, in the URL and this happens because the system gets an, um, an uh, authentication from Kubernetes. I'm going to show you this in the uh, source code. So if you go into Meet United, uh, Care and then Component.js, you will see that here there is a key cloak um, authentication which is here. And the key cloak authentication is later used in our FHIR model. So um, uh, there's the, the keycloak.js, it comes from the index.html, so I added this keycloak.js and it comes from the id.meetunited.health.js, uh, uh, id.meetunited.health server. So this is the keycloak server and on this server it's also possible to uh, register. So I can show you this in a uh, private tab, how this will look like if you're not registered and if you're not logged in. So now it takes you to the uh, Meet United uh, Keycloak system and on Keycloak you have to register and after you register um, you get an, uh, you get a Meet United system and we have a multi-tenancy system and the tenancy system is based on your email address. So everybody with the same domain will work on the same tenant. So make sure that you use your organization um, email address. So in my case, I'm in the Incentergy um, uh, domain and I can also show you here a network. Um, if I press reload, then um, there is uh, some request to our fire server. So here, and in the header of the fire server, uh, there is an, a JWT token, this one. And if you take this one and go to, uh, th this comes from Keycloak. So this, this was all done in the background. It was just magically there. And if you take this token and go to jw.io, then if you paste it here, so you will see this is the algorithm, how it was uh, generated, how it was signed, and here is all the data that's in there. So these are currently the allowed origins, and you can see here, this these are my roles, and here this is my, 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 my username and my email address. And this here, this is used for creating um, the uh, partition or the tenant on our fire server. So everybody who has an at Incentigy email address will get um, the same domain and I can give you a sneak preview into the code how this is done. So if you here go on fire dot meet united dot health, then here in source main uh, starter meet united uh, JWT tenant identification strategy. Here you will see that we are going to uh, get the domain from the uh, JWT token and in the function create partition if necessary, um, we are going to create the partition if it's not there yet. And this makes it possible to have a multi-tenancy system with which is easy to set up. Um, and then every, every um, uh, home for elderly or every organization that's using our system uh, gets their own tenant. So now we're still in the front end. Um, here you can see the uh, data from the FHIR model. So if you click here on, on the patient request and you say get to preview, then you can here see all the entries that, that were sent to me. Um, also, I recommend the UI5 um, plugin here to inspect the whole application. So this is currently how the whole application works. And um, I'm going to walk you a little bit through the, the, the source code um, in a minute. So first I want to uh, tell you how this works with, with, with the uh, WT token. So 
there is our app and it's called meetunited.care.component. So this component, it checks uh, or it, it, it uses a, a key cloak. And this key cloak component um, talks to ID ID dot meet dot, dot health. So uh, so it, it not directly talks there, but, but it re um, and there there is some iframe magic handling how how this works, and th there is a key cloak uh, JS hosted here that that contains all the data. So th this is how this works, and then later this component uh, also creates an own model for this JWT token, and this is just called JWT. And this model can later be used in in our component. So now um, let's get a little bit more into the details of of the uh, of the UI five code. Um, so here. So let's start. We first start on the index.html. So on the index.html, there's an on init component support, and then we are initing the Met United Care component. So the first thing that's called in our uh, in our UI five app, it's is this is it's this component, and here you can see the key clock stuff that I told you about. And it uh, the login is required, so it makes sure that you have a login. If you don't have a login, it, it sends you to the uh, ID dot meet United um, Health uh, site and tells you please register there. There's also here's the key cloak JSON file. Here you can see the key key cloak server. And also keep in mind, even with this being a video, there's nothing secret what I'm telling you here. So they are all our secrets. They they are on our servers. They are encrypted. This is open source software, so you should have uh, the right to understand how all this works. But on our server, the data is super safe. So even if you know all the details about app our application, how it works, uh, our data itself, it's it's super secure. Um, and here what you can see now is that we are setting the key cloak um, token as the auth authorization header of from for the fire uh, model. Uh, then at the end, the system goes to the router and sends you to the patient master view. So what the component is doing, uh, it uh, it's in initializing the router, and then it's executing the patient master uh, route. So and now I'm going to show you how this works. So there's now patient master, and I added lots of routes. So at the moment, I only did this for for the patient entity. So we have to also do this for the other entities. And this is here the route that it's called. And what this route is doing, um, it's initializing the target patient master and the target patient detail. And uh, the patient detail in this case is not seen because the layout um, is still on default. And I will show you how this looks like. So um, if you have this here and now you click on the patient, now you have uh, two, two, two parts of the layout. You can close this again can also put this to uh, bigger. You can see here the URL and also if you press back, this back press also keeps all the, all the time the state. And also if, if you reload in such a state, then you should be, okay, we have to uh, work this out. It should also take you directly to the patient. So uh, there, there's a still small bug here, but, but we, are, we are going to work on this. So how does this work with the router? Um, so there is the component. Then the component it contains the router. So the router gets the manifest punk JSON. And then into the router there there uh, you can call the function nav2. So the nav2 function, it's like putting something in the uh, in the um, uh, after the hash in your browser. So this is what you can do. 
And then what, what the router will do is, if you call nav2, then it will check in the manifest, do I have a route with this name? And if uh, the uh, answer is yes, then it will say, okay, so what kind of views do I have to put into certain controls? So, and in our case, I will show you that. We have the control ID FCL, and the control ID FCL, it's in the app view, it's this flexible col column layout. So this flexible column layout, this is the target of the, of the router. So the router will do something in this uh, control. So we can already tell this here. Uh, so this is FCL. Flexible. And normally this flexible column layout, is, it has aggregations. So. Uh, you can see here in the manifest.json, here, here are the targets. So, and the targets say, please put this view name here into this uh, aggregation of the control. So it will use begin column pages and mid column pages. So begin to come and here's uh, mid column pages. So what the router will do, it will create um, the um, the views so uh, this is a particular this is the master view which is typically a list This is what the router will do. So it will manage this guy here. And this is also done for the mid column page. So here's there's the detail. So th this is this is what the router is doing. So the router puts something into the flexible column layout, and if you understand this, then you already know a lot of the logic how how this works. There there's also something that there is an own model in the component that's manage managing the state of the flexible column layout. So here's also uh, it's called layout. And, and, and this is bound to parts of this flexible column layout. Um, I have to admit, I, I, I don't know 100% uh, how this, this layout, um, so, so how the details are working here, uh, but, but I just accept that it works <laughs> like I expect it to work, and that, that's, that's okay with me. Um, w w I, I put in some, some default uh, stuff for the patient, so um, if you now go here and if you look into the views, you see a detail view, you see a master view, you see a detail controller, you see a master controller. Uh, I put in some abstract controllers uh, that you can derive from that already contain lots of functionality like for search and for adding and for showing something. Um, and also um, uh, ju just, just if, if you want to do this now for, for more objects. So what you should, uh, what you will need is you will need this route and this route. So you copy these two routes, then you copy this folder and you copy this folder. 
um, and then you rename everything where it says patient to something else. And, and uh, if you do this, it should be possible to also get the other entities running on, on, on the site. Then thanks a lot and talk to you soon. Bye bye.